Hey all, you can download the Splin file in the description below if you like. This video is just to help familiarize yourself with the scene. And then we'll go over how to attach the geometry, geometry to a curve. Before that, let's quickly go over this scene. So we'll cover the layers, the modifiers, and the material stacks. So here in the Wicker Spiral collection, you have the Spiral Geo and then the curve itself. And then to make it easier to control in the scene, you have it parented to this empty versus trying to select both gets a little hairy and wacky. And now in the material stack, just have five materials. This helps with some color breakup versus just one flat color. Oops, helps a little pop. Oh, with the modifier stack. Let's check that out real quick. So we have our solidify and bevel that makes it more dimensional and just makes it pop a little bit while you're rendering. I tend to only toggle that on when I want to render, especially with the higher rate count model like this hat. Makes my computer begin to chug. I have the weighted normal. That just fixes some odd artifacting here and there. And then you've got the curve and array modifiers, which are doing the heavy lifting. To demonstrate how those are used, let's hop on over to this wicker array. And let's build it out real quick. So we can hide the spiral, the hat. Let's add a curve for it to follow along. Curve. Let's try out a spiral curve. And before attaching this to the curve itself, we want to run through this checklist real quick, otherwise items will break. Want your scale to be zeroed out for both models. And the uh, location of the origin to be the same location. So let's see what it looks like if you do not follow this checklist. Let's attach the spiral. Ooh. So we just, here, I'll back up real quick. So we select the array, I drop the curve we want it to follow. Let's see how it's not really following this curve. So we can cut this out. And now if we control A to apply scale, have the origins sitting on top of each other. So let's move this origin to cursor. So the origins are sitting on top of, let's try that again. And now it's following that curve pretty nicely. Now in the array, adjust the accounts if you'd like manually. You can hop into fit curve and always follow the length of the curve. Now to help make this easier to move around the scene, let's get that empty made and attached. So let's go to empty, let's try a sphere. Let's move it up on the z-axis. Control click the two items that you want parented. And then lastly, the empty controller. Control P, parent to object. Let's get this scene a little bit more organized and clutter-free. So let's name this empty wick controller. Let's name this wick curve. Take the curve in the curve collection, put the controller in the wicker ray master collection. And there you have it now. Easily move this 
array build around on the scene. You can hop into your curve, edit this however you like. Do some control T mods to tilt, which is always fun. Alt S to scale, if you want to do that. Just remember to edit in edit mode only. Try not to be doing this in object mode. Until next time, thanks for watching guys.